Uh, my name is Batre Shasha. Uh, I'm an Afro jazz artist. Uh, I play the acoustic guitar. I also play mbira. And I also play uh, piano as well, drums here and there. So I started singing when I was in primary school. <laughs> I was in grade three. Um, it was actually at the assembly point. You know, at school you get to to gather at the assembly point for for some um, for some news. And then the the teacher would be asking for a chorus from the from the from the school from anyone in the crowd. So there I was. I was in grade three, very much scared, very much shy. But then this song just came to me and I felt the need to sing and I was boiling from inside and I couldn't hold it anymore. Then I just started singing. I actually surprised myself and everyone joined in and it was fun, scary, fun. Uh, and then I got comfortable and it, it, came, out, it came out very well. Um, a lot of people ask me, when did he start to sing? And I tell them he was singing since was born because uh, there's never a time when we said oh you can sing he's always been singing <laughs> basically so he started singing in school that's when they discovered when he was about grade three that's when they discovered that he was excited about singing ever since then i was um, singing at church taimba na mamato riesa trukumba i didn't have any problems with singing i would look forward to singing at church and that was that was i was in grade three Grade four, grade five, grade six. Um, grade six, then that was prison worship in church. You know, I was leading songs in church, and um, mostly it was my hymn, hymns, and then the my uncle Jimba was coming, and I was like, "What? And I was like, "What?" So I would write songs for the choir. I would write songs to sing even scripture. In some of them, I would actually take the songs to church. Don't you arrive in my friends' angle? Don't you write songs? I was about to go to church on Sunday. But not to do this. I got to be singing. I got to practice. But I got to. I do what. We come up with something. We do fun a song. We do what. We do what. We imbat. We do yes. We do what. We imbat church. And apparently, people in church would celebrate the songs. They would embrace the songs. They would love them because they were they were they were naturally just flowing from from me because of my Christian background. I got to run. I'm going to be wasting. I end up church. I'm wasting church. I'm wasting church. So I got to with God at heart. I I I had a genuine love for God and all. That was happening at church. So gospel music was coming to me naturally. From the yoke of sin, I know what happened. He was always singing in church, in prison worship. The enthusiasm was there. But um, let me tell you, as a parent, uh, you get to a point where you got to love music. Otherwise, it becomes a nuisance because he wakes up singing. Sometimes I have to wake up. Um, I hear him sing in his sleep. So I jump out of my bed to shut him up. Now I decided to actually just go to his bedroom, take my mic, my phone, and record whatever he's singing because that's how he sometimes he gets his music. He really meant uh, business. He wanted to do music. So everything about him is music. You hear him coming uh, at home anytime he's just singing. He's, he's, he's got a new song every day. Uh, he loves uh, what he's doing. So after Form 6, after my A-levels, then I had to make a choice. I was doing arts, uh, so I had to make a choice between Tulagno, Itechi, College, University. Um, so that's when I told my brothers, my mom, my family, I was like, I'm going to college, I'm going to miss you. But Tulagno did music, Tulagno started music. And they were all shocked. Ah, why, 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 why do you want to, to waste money? Why do you want to start music? But then I didn't look at it as a burden for them because I had a scholarship here in the Badaraj school. So that's when I told them, I want to do music. So we are like, of course, we are going to do music, Badari, music, Chichi, what else did I say now? Kure, what's up for Kure? What's up for Kure? Kure, what's up for Kure? Kure, what's up for Kure? to MSU, Midland State University, for a bachelor's degree in music business and music technology. Then I also went to uh, College of Music, uh, mostly for practicals. I did my MBA there. I also did uh, guitar there as well. Uh, then I also got uh, my vocal coaching from uh, Prudence Katomeni uh, from uh, Music Crossroads. Um, I 
Honestly, I get the question, but why jazz? Why not the other genres out there? Why are you doing jazz? And for me, I would say I didn't choose jazz music, but jazz kind of chose me because it just resonates with my beliefs in music as an African. I, I feel good, I, I, I'm very comfortable with, with, with jazz because I relate to the uh, instruments that are African, guitar, mbira, the marimba sounds in music, although we can modernize, we can ooh. So right now what I'm doing with my kind of jazz is I'm trying to, to make sure it's distinct, it's very much different and unique to me and perhaps with time I'm going to make sure that I give it a name that will stand out, you know, so that uh, it's my kind of music that I'm giving out to the world. So that's why I'm, I'm doing jazz. And also, I also grew up listening to um, the legends who were doing jazz music by then. I grew up listening to Mr. Oliver Mtukuzi, I was listening to Ringo Mashingozi, I was listening to Yuma Sikela, I was listening to all these jazz giants. And right now, even currently, I, I feed from Zahara, um, legends like Richard Bona, um, all these guys who are jazz gurus, I, I feed from, from, from them each and every day. Uh, I'm quite happy. Uh, he's pushing his work and, um, and, and, and the name is beginning to show up, you know, uh, uh, through the hard work uh, that, is, that is being put in place.